Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have an awesome, awesome featured seller video for you guys. Hey, Bolo Buddies. All right, let's get started. And um, she's got some really cool vintage clothes and other items that you guys are really going to enjoy seeing, I think. She is a member of my Facebook group. She is an app developer. You guys, she's so young and she developed an app for resellers to help them keep track of their inventory. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. This video is not sponsored. Um, it's not like a paid promotional advertisement or anything like that. She's just a member of my Facebook group. It looks fantastic. And I thought I, I would share it with you guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Kelly with The Garden Finds, and I am the face behind Thrifter Scorecard. I'm a part-time reseller and now also a web app designer. I initially created Thrifter Scorecard to help the reselling community. I knew there had to be a easier way of organizing our inventory and tracking our sales. As resellers, even if we're just doing this as a little side hustle or if it's our full-time job, knowing your numbers is really, really important for the health of your business. It's really hard to grow if you don't know what is performing best for you. And so knowing what you're spending on items and what you're making off of them is really crucial to running any sort of business. I found myself spending a lot of time in my spreadsheets doing math, whether it was calculating my earnings or profit, platform fees, shipping costs. Doing all of that math took a lot of time, so I wanted to create a more automated system to help us track our profit and earnings by deducting those platform fees and shipping costs automatically with a click of a button. And from that, Thrifter's Scorecard grew into what it is today, which is a web app that helps you organize digitally your inventory, conduct your sales calculations, but also give you insights into what is selling best for you, whether that's by category, by brand, or by sourcing location. Um, there's options to track your profitability by sourcing trip as a whole. So if you're a storage unit buyer and you may not know the exact cost of goods per item because there are so many things within the unit, you can track your profitability for that unit as a whole with one purchase price. I have found it to be so helpful in understanding my business and keeping on top of bookkeeping, which makes tax time easier. There's just a ton of benefits to understanding your numbers. So I really encourage you to organize today, get your inventory all organized, whether that's physically and digitally, it's both important in that aspect as well. And I encourage you to check out Thrifter Scorecard if you are looking for a solution to some of these problems. Because this is a featured seller bolo video. What I do is I pick people from my Facebook group um, I'll ask for maybe a volunteer or something like that. I'll create a post and then they will message me and I will search their store and I will look for their big money bolos and I will bring them to you guys as a what sold video to help you learn. This helps um, get eyes on their store because I post the link down in the description of the video and then we get to see all their bolo items. And when I see what solds, I'm like, I know to look for that item now. So Items you can buy low and sell high. So definitely uh, check out the description of all my videos because I do put additional information down there. So let's do screen share. And this is Kelly and her YouTube channel is The Garden Finds. And her um, app that she developed that ha helps manage inventory and sales is called Thrifters Score Scorecard. Sorry. Um, check it out. If you go to her YouTube channel and I'll be sure to link it down in the description, you can go to this area and it's, she's got some videos that tell you about it. And, um, yeah, it's definitely a great resource for sellers. So definitely go check that out. And she also has like thrift hauls and different types of videos for resellers also. So check out her channel for sure. All right. Let's go to the first bolo. Let me make sure. 
And again, I will post the link down in the description to her YouTube channel. So these uh, Air Jordans, she picked these up for $35 at the Salvation Army and they sold for best offer of 160 plus shipping in one day, one day. Didn't wanna store them for long because they are huge, but the guy hasn't paid yet. No good comps for size 16. Okay, so she's kind of waiting on payment. I've got, um, got that same issue. <laughs> so people just don't wanna pay right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. How are you guys' sales? Let me know in the comments. Are your sales up? Are your sales down? Um, how are you guys doing? How are you doing? Okay. So the train robbery. This is a, um, a 1952 episode original script screenplay. Roy Rogers. So she won this at a YouTube auction from Chris the Goose. And she paid $5 per piece. And this one sold for a best offer of $125 plus shipping. So Chris the Goose goes on auctions for you, um, her YouTube channel, and he auctions off items. So down in the description of the video, I do have a link for auctions for you. So definitely go and check that out. And these YouTube auctions are great opportunities for resellers to buy inventory to resell on eBay or whatever selling platform you're on. This next item is a skirt and you can see it's got this um, print. I, I'm not even sure how I would describe that. Are those like tigers maybe? I don't know, interesting, but she's calling it a, oh boy, Lyserenus Masatano <laughs> Italy silk wrap skirt, tropical floral hotel. And she won this at Donatella Bottolino's auction and she bought a bunch of clothes and it came to about $5 per piece. And she took a best offer on this skirt for $150. And Donatella Bottolino also has a YouTube auction um, selling event. She does buy it now. She does a little bit of everything on her channel, but her link is also in the description of the video. The next item that sold are these Amanda Adams couture jeans. And these things are beaded and amazing. Um, I guess these are embroidered and beaded. But I mean, they're just, I've never seen anything like it um, until I started watching Donatella's auctions. I'm like, those are amazing. So she bought this at Donatella Bottolino's auction. And it came to about $17 per item. And these are high end items. A lot of times these sell for $100, $150. It depends on how detailed they are. But she ended up taking a best offer of $91 for these and the buyer, or I'm sorry, fast and free. The next item is this vintage 1930s yellow dress and it is fantastic. Check it out. And I don't know where she got it yet because I have not looked at what she wrote but I'm gonna find it here. Okay, so this vintage 1930s yellow dress, she won at a YouTube auction, Mr. Buys A Lot, which is another YouTube auction that is fantastic. And I have featured him on my YouTube channel, and he has also been a guest on my Bolo Live show. Uh, Brian is great, he's got uh, great YouTube auctions. So definitely go check out Mr. Buys A Lot. But this dress, um, she bought in a lot and it ended up being about $10 per item. And this dress sold for full asking price in two days for $89.99. And looks like the buyer paid the shipping. So here's another dress. It's a 1930s seersucker plaid dress with ruffles, size extra small. And this was also a part of the Mr. Buys a Lot auction. Um, this looks like it was a different lot because it was $11 per piece and it sold for $62. It had a tear and repairs on the back. So she took a best offer, it looks like, and the buyer paid shipping. So definitely very cool. The next item is this 1960s floral maxi dress. Um, give me just a second. I've got the things mixed up here. Okay. This also came from the Mr. Buys A Lots auction, and this was in the $11 per piece, sold for full asking price of $75 plus shipping in one day. So very, very cool. So these vintage dresses can definitely, definitely be a bolo if you know what you're looking for. 
The next item that sold is this Vince silk shirt dress. Um, yeah, it's it's just like a shirt dress. It's pretty interesting. Vince, I know, can be uh, big money. She paid $1.50 to thrift store, sold it for best offer of $50 plus shipping, sold global shipping to Poland. The next item are these Eileen Fisher black skirted legging jersey style pull on pants, size large. And these sold for $55. Buyer uh, had free shipping on that, sold in one day. And she got them at a thrift store for $2.99. And she said, Eileen Fisher always sells well for her. And here's what the tag looks like. The next item that sold is these vintage 1950s black Oxford shoes. Um, they look really like they look new old stock to me. I mean, I don't know that, but don't they look nice? Maybe she shined them up. Pre-owned excellent condition. And these came from Mr. Buys a Lot's auction. $10 per piece. Took a best offer of $52. Sold global shipping to Japan. The next item are these Dawn Quixot Sierra Manarin. I don't know, guys. I can't read this. 1901. It looks like it's some sort of book. Um, let's see the front here. And it's even got a tear. Wow. Um, number 81 of limited to 100 copies. Number 81. Oh, wow. That's cool. So I guess I need to look at the inside of books. Huh. Uh, let's see. This one, she paid $32 at a consignment store. Was hoping they would get more bids, but still made money. So she bought it for $32, sold it for $50. Not as much as she had hoped, but you win some, you lose some, right? Uh, might have been an item. Uh, when I have auctions, I always start my auctions high. And if they don't sell, I put them at best offer. Buy it now or best offer. But that's just what I do. So I probably would have started this if I paid 32 for it. I don't know. I guess it depends on what the comps look like. So, but she still made some money. So she made her money back. So this is a vintage 1930s button front top. And this one. What's this one called? Hmm. Sorry. Uh, Mr. Buys a Lot's auction, $11 per item on the lot she bought. Sold in minutes for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. So these vintage items, um, I, I'm guessing if they're selling within minutes and within a day or two, she probably could have priced her items higher, but she's probably just looking to move them quickly. You can see here some problems with the buttons. One's missing, that one's dented, but definitely a very, very cool piece. Limited Mary Muffet. So super cool. Uh, these Poetic License Shoes paid $5 at a thrift store, sold best offer for $35 plus shipping. And I just think these are super, super neat looking. Um, I don't know if they would be comfortable or not, but they are really, really cute. I love that style. I mean, I wouldn't wear them because they look super uncomfortable, but they are very cute. The next item are these vintage lot of 11 unused stickers. And if you guys have not seen my sticker bolo video, it's a category video. Oh my gosh, you guys have got to go check it out. They, it's amazing what stickers sell for. Just crazy. Um, these came from... A small lot at Goodwill, about a dollar for these, sold best offer of $22 plus shipping. Another group of stickers from the same lot sold last year for $60. So yeah, there is definitely money in stickers. Lots of collectors out there. So these are 1960s shoes. Um, Realities gold shoes. One at Mr. Buys a Lot's auction in a large lot, $10 per piece, sold best offer for $22.50 buyer paid shipping. So there you have it. So not huge margins on that one, but I'm guessing probably some of the other stuff that she got in the lot sold for higher prices to offset that. She's just giving us an average. Okay. Um, Death Valley script. This one also came from Chris the Goose. It came to $5 a piece. She did take a best offer on this for $30 plus shipping. 
Okay, so I'm going over to her Poshmark closet, which is the garden finds. And this Winnie the Pooh jacket I thought was really fun. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. Um, hmm. I'm not seeing it on my list here. Maybe she missed this one. Give me one second. I apologize. So she sold it for $112, which is great. Oh, I found it. Okay, Vintage Winnie the Pooh Varsity Jacket. Found at a thrift store for $6.98. Sold it for $112. I guess this jacket was born by one, worn by a for, famous rapper when he got shot. So it was popular at the time. I had no idea. Just picked it up because it was Vintage Winnie the Pooh. Always does well for me. Cool. The next item is this vintage NBA hardwood classic 76ers jersey dress. So, sorry, I'm looking for it. I know I saw this. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, I can't find this. One. I thought for sure I saw it. I'm probably overlooking it because I'm stressing because I don't want to hold you guys up. Okay. So either way, it's really cool. It's a vintage NBA uh, jersey dress. It sold for $60 on Poshmark and the buyer pays shipping on Poshmark in most cases. So these vintage Winnie the Pooh overall, she paid $4 at a thrift store and they sold for $49 on Poshmark. And I'm guessing the buyer paid shipping on that one. And this vintage Victoria's Secret, um, it's a robe. And vintage Victoria's Secret can be big money. Um, it just depends. Uh, retired items that aren't sold anymore can do very, very well. This is a lace robe and it sold for $45. She got it at a thrift store for $3.49. And she said, look out for the gold label Victoria's Secret. Let me see if I can find you guys a tag. Okay. So right there, I guess that's what you need to look for. So that's a great tip. And again, I don't see that NBA jersey. So I wanted to give you guys that information because it's definitely a unique, different item. So um, I am going to share a commercial and I will throw that into the video at some point. I'm not sure if I'll do it now, or if I'll mix it in. You may have already seen it in between, but it's a commercial that tells you a little more about the thrifter scorecard because I just think it's fantastic that she's so young and she has built this app for resellers and it's something that she uses on a daily basis. And I asked her to, um, come up with like a little, um, video that basically is telling us about it. So I'm waiting on her to get that to me and I will incorporate it into this video in some way. And I will definitely have links down in the description. So stay tuned for that. Hello, my name is Devin from the Moonstone Mamas. And I can't thank Kelly enough for making Thrifter Scorecard. I am primarily a jewelry reseller and I use it for the personalized SKUs. Have you ever ran into a problem where you can't find the smallest item? Well, look no further. I was able to customize how I organize my reselling items um, and be able to look it up when I make a sale and know exactly where it is because of the custom SKU. Not only do I use it on thrifting trips when I come back to list my inventory, um, but I also use it to track my sales and what's sold in the highest. I just want to show you right now that this SKU is the thing that has saved my life. I'm going to be adding inventory, okay? This particular item is going to be a sterling silver earring lot, okay? Sterling silver, um, I got it from Shop Goodwill and it's already saved under here and I'll go ahead and input them later, um, but I have not listed this yet, but again, I'm gonna go look under an open SKU. Now I am gonna hit 35 BA because of I have got this spot open. Boom, shakalaka, legit. This has turned my life around. I can't thank Kelly enough for making Thrifter Scorecard. I use it right after a thrifting trip to organize my reselling inventory. 
It's easy, it's fun, and I love tracking my sales and what's sold. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.